everyone. This is Christy with AG Takes Over. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I hope you're excited about today's video. It is all about the Jenny Splendid Ice Cream Truck Collab. So I'll just lay it out for you. My plan is to show you some footage of the um, collaboration at the Columbus store. Then we will look more closely at the big ticket item, which is the ice cream truck. And we'll look at real Jenny's ice cream trucks to see how they stack up. Then I'll show you some detailed information about the Our Generation ice cream truck. And we'll finish up showing you everything that my wife bought today at the Columbus store while I was working. All right, let's dive straight in. So first up is some footage my wife grabbed today while I was at work. And these pictures were of the display that was under a glass case. There are some additional pictures where there's no glass case. So they don't have the doll completely sitting in the truck. You'll notice that for both displays, the doll is not in the truck. So that would have been nice to see, but you'll definitely get to see plenty of footage of it from all angles. Here's the Jenny's outfit and the adorable square reader so you can take payments electronically. They were well stocked at that table um, or with that table for sure. They had a lot of them available. It comes with no chairs because it's cocktail table height, I guess. Cute little napkin. The Jenny's outfit, which we'll take a better look at later. If you're familiar with Jenny's, we're Central Ohioans, so we're definitely familiar with it because it was started here in Columbus. Um, these flavors are delicious, especially that lavender one. Fun fact, my wife was um, at the store today and there's a Jenny's very nearby, so she got some pints for us and we had some tonight. Anyway, we're coming up on the waffle cone set, which is adorable. I love it. And then this ice cream cone holder is really cute. I want more of those for our dolls. And some ice cream storage there on the floor. All right, here is the write-up that's on the American Girl website. It says, it's a replica of an authentic Jenny's ice cream truck with a wooden floor, uh, wheels that roll and turn, working LED lights, a horn, and a radio that plays two melodies to alert customers that frozen treats are on the way. I have my doubts about the wooden floor. I think this is misleadingly worded. I think it's a replica of a Jenny's ice cream truck that has a wooden floor, but this one is not. Because if you look at it later, um, the it definitely looks like the same blue plastic that the rest of the thing is. It even has like a non-slip texture that wouldn't make sense if it's a wooden floor. This is an aside. <laughs> rant, but I just want to mention that the Columbus store never has batteries in their battery operated products. We have brought this up to so many employees. We've brought it up to a manager. They acted like they'd never heard this concern before and assured us they would definitely do something about it, but it was the same thing every time we go in. So today I went on to a Facebook post um, from American Girl where they're advertising this thing and I said, this is adorable. Can you encourage accessibility in your stores and told them all about it? You know, I pointed out you have blind customers at that store and this is not accessible. And they said, you know, we take comments like yours very seriously. Please be assured they will be forwarded to the appropriate teams, which if I'm honest, was a faster and more substantive response than I expected. Anyway, let's look at some pictures of it because I want to break this down a little more. It's $325 pre-tax. That is not chump change. Here are some stock pictures so we can see it a little better. It's thinner, it's narrow. Um, we'll look at how that compares to actual Jenny's trucks soon, but for now, it's cute. It's stocked with their signature flavors and it's got images of the flavors all over the truck. It's got an awning to give you some shade and keep things from getting so melty. The other side also has storage. Um, it's clearly not meant for dolls to be inside. Um, you could put it in, inside in the front, seated, but definitely not standing and nobody in the back part. It's definitely meant to be interacted with from the outside, which is not a plus or a you know, pro or a con. It's just, it is. Also, check out the little hubcaps because they've got the American Girl star on them and the tread on there also has stars. So that's a really cool detail. 
So after looking at this in detail, I wanted to see how authentically replicated it actually is. And I found this. Um, I think this is the one it's modeled after because it's the smaller, narrower out of all the Jenny's trucks that I could find, this one most closely matched. Um, they might have gotten some inspiration also from this one in terms of putting the um, pints all over as decoration and the awning here. So maybe they took little bits and pieces of all of these. I don't know if it's a replica of any one Jenny's truck. Um, certainly looking at these last two reminds me more of the Our Generation truck than it does of the um, American Girl one. So that's a nice segue. Let's look at that uh, Our Generation truck because the, the sticker shock is way less. It retails at $119.99. It is currently available. And um, the description on the website says, comes with a real chalkboard, wipers, working lights. I added the and blinkers part because I happen to know that about it. And plays three songs. Oh, suck it, AG. The $325 Jenny's collab plays two songs, but the oh little over a third of the price our generation one plays three songs anyway it doesn't make it better they're they're very apples and oranges as you're gonna see so i am gonna show you some a photo shoot that i did last year with our our generation truck so you can see that kind of in action here it is with my mini me sydney serving up some popsicles in her adorable deadpool shirt I don't know if adorable is appropriate for Deadpool, but whatever. In her authentic looking Deadpool shirt. And um, here is Ty getting a very tiny ice cream cone. Joined by her friend Zariah, who is not going to be left out. Picking some blue raspberry. I have no idea. Ice cream. There's Leah getting hers. And this one clearly is meant to be played with from the inside and the outside so a doll can fully stand up on the inside and move around serve the ice cream the top part comes down and creates this floor and walk up bar and i'm just showing it to you from a few different angles there are the wipers and here's an aerial shot in case you want to see the storage yeah, you can access this like the other one from both sides. Um, it just is is able to be accessed from um, the inside and the outside, unlike the other one. And then I did take some video footage of ours because I have it and why not? And I do put batteries in the battery operated products. So here you can listen to the songs and check out the lights and the blinkers. So there is a close up of both of them. I wish I could play all the sounds that the American Girl one makes, but um, they needed to put batteries in there. Anyway, they both have lights that work and they both have music. They both are um, designed very differently and they both look like some version of an authentic Jenny's ice cream truck. So you decide which one or if you really need both, go you. Um, I think for us, our plan is to add some stickers to buy sticker paper and print out our own stickers and kind of convert the one that we already have. Uh, we actually got that, by the way, at a thrift store for $5. Um, we, it didn't come with any of the things, but we had been saving back the things every time we got random lots of doll stuff and we knew, hey, all these go to that Our Generation thing. Let's just save them because you never know when we'll get it. And we did for five bucks. So we're just gonna convert ours. Um, but we did wanna add some of the authentic Jenny's collab stuff to ours and you know really complete it. So here is what she picked up. She being my wife picked up today. 
So she got three of the accessory things. And of course, as I said, she picked up some ice cream for the humans because she's a lovely person. All right, so this one is the ice cream tote. It retails for $25 and I will share a few things with you about it. All three ice cream flavors are scented. So the buttercream birthday cake smells like that, gooey butter cake and the blackout chocolate cake, all scented. Also, when you're looking at it right now, the scoops extend beyond the top of the um, containers, which makes you think I won't be able to shut the lid. You just flip them over and it's flat on the other side. So it'll look just like an ice cream container does when you first take off the lid. Really cool. These are just, um, the whole collaboration is very multi-sensory, like sounds and lights and music and scents and textures. I think that's pretty cool. Here's a close up of the ice cream tote set. And here it is, just cause I thought this was cute. She took pictures of the exact same flavors in human size behind it. Next thing she got was the waffle cone set. This is $45, it does come with considerably more. The waffle cones are scented. The um, waffle cone press does make some sounds, just sounds kind of like sizzling. It's a little odd, but I've never used a waffle cone press, so I don't know how it really sounds. Um, but on the bottom there on the counter, you can see these two little molds, which I think is cool. So the idea, I've never done this before, is you get it nice and hot on the griddle kind of thing, and then you immediately put it into these molds to either turn it into a bowl or a cone. I don't know. I learned something. I think that's pretty cool. And the last thing that she purchased was the, um, it's called Just Add Sprinkles outfit. And this is $32. I think it's cute. I, I think it's very juvenile looking. I think that most Jenny's employees would not be thrilled if this were their uniform. Let's be real. It's very like younger kid appeal. The material of the skirt, I like the print. I mean, it's a little busy, but I like the print. I think that it's a very thin material. I think it actually will snag if any Velcro gets on it quite easily. Um, I don't like the, I don't know. I don't dislike, but the glitter shoes are kind of whatever to me. This is definitely not the Jenny's uniform I would choose. And maybe I would say if I'm going to use it, the doll is going to wear the shirt and I will make everything else, you know. I'll put together an outfit myself. So here it is on a doll though, so you can see it. The, sh the shirt is snug. This is not gonna fit any thicker PC girls at all. Um, and I would worry that if you had to stretch it in order for it to fit a larger doll, that you might crack the silk screening or whatever that's on the front. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to get that set. All right, so we covered everything on the agenda. I hope it's helpful. Please ask me any additional questions you have about this collaboration and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you for my next video.